Hello everyone, this is a little song type thing I've made about the kids that are still causing um, harassment and nuisance outside of my balcony and perving on me. Literally, the park's to the back of me and they walk around the front, six floors up, and they're standing through the bottom of my balcony because the bottom of the balcony has a, a gap. I don't know why, but that's the way the fucking council decided to design it, which is uh, kind of stupid. They're always there peeking through. You know what I mean? Like, straight in between where my legs are, where I'm sitting t on the fucking chair, while shouting nasty words to me. And if I have the chair facing the other way, then they'll be shouting the nasty words to me because it's facing towards the park. And they shouldn't even be over where they are. That's the front of my block of flats. What the fuck are they doing? They don't even live down here. They live up the road. So, yeah, it's taking the piss. So, um, yeah, if you want to stay up to date on everything, check out, uh, well, add me on Kick Messenger. You'll be able to um, see what I mean. Just check the background image before even adding me. But like, you can add me on Kick Messenger, and uh, the username is Jace Hall 2002. I've literally had to share everything public because they're endangering my life with all the nasty shit they're saying when they know I'm fighting for custody of my daughter whilst trying to have me killed before I get the DNA test done. Because as soon as I get the DNA test done, that's when my criminal side of the family are in big trouble because it'll finally be safe for Alicia to speak out. That's me potential daughter, who's probably about six, seven years old. And, um, yeah. Sarah's been doing some bad stuff. That's me cousin. I can't go into full detail and release her full identity because I get in trouble for that. But, um, yeah, I've been begging the police since around 2012 to take a look at the evidence I have. They wouldn't. Many times I've reported it, even reported it through Crime Stoppers. It's all been reported through my main phone number, my name, obviously, that never changes, and my address. And, um, yeah, so you can find all of the uh, crime logs and criminal and all that stuff. What, is it criminal record? No, crime logs and case numbers and all that stuff through that. You know what I mean? And that's the biggest problem as well. If you lose the case number, they always try to come up with an excuse of why you can't fucking deal with it. You know what I mean? Or add to it. It's like, well, it should be there under my name and everything. Why isn't it? You need to start learning how to sort out your fucking database, and uh, if you ain't got it fucking catalogued properly. Name, but you should have different options for search methods. Name, phone number, and address. I mean, you can't expect somebody to remember, say, I don't know, say you get five or six different crimes that you've reported in the, um, over the time of 30 years. How the fuck are you supposed to remember every single fucking one? You are, am you? Fucking hell, it's ridiculous. But, um, yeah. Anyways, I've done a little song about it. If I make a mistake, I make a mistake. I hate editing it. They're hanging around, leaving mess on the ground. They see the camera coming out as they pull their hoods down. Is that guilty? Is that guilty? They're staring straight through, think there's nothing I can do. It's around half past two as they bring their little crew. My balcony, my balcony. They're staring to the middle of my legs, repeat. No, I don't know the fucking flow part for that, I can't remember. That's it. They're staring to the middle of my legs, repeating what they said. If I was lying in my bed as it's playing in my head, perverted crew, I'm out in you. They're shouting nasty words just like perverted jerks and go along on your way to work. Eyes down, you dirty perv, perving on me, perving on me. Feel the wind within my air as I... Yeah, right, start again, as I go. Feeling the wind within my air and I see two peeking eyes. You should have wore a disguise. I see you perv, you dirty perv. I will say because they, they've been doing it for a while now started playing around in my head and so this is how it all started off when it came to um, some of the raps I made on Sarah and um, yeah um, <coughs> I've already released on my YouTube some of the start off ones I've made well they've made even better more catchy ones so she isn't gonna want out but um, I, I don't want them doing all this shit to me I didn't want to be destroyed for trying to stop the fucking 
grooming and fucking between my uncle and his youngest daughter, but they decided to terrorise me anyway for trying to stop it. I didn't want to be raped by my cousin in my flat, but like, she decided she had the right to. I didn't want the police to decide that they wouldn't do anything about it and wouldn't let me press charges, but like, they decided they had the right to. Um, I didn't want to have to do fuck all while for years I just had to rot away in my flat knowing what Sarah was doing to my brother while she was grooming him until I outed everything in 2020. Put a stop to that, ain't I, you stupid bitch? Right, let's see what office we got. And I didn't want to have to uh, not be able to do anything while she had Cameron terrorised until he took his own life. He was 12 years old, but apparently it doesn't matter. Please covered it up as an accident. An accident, my ass. he told me. He was asking me, what's it like to die? Stupid bastards. I fucking tried to tell his mother, but like, would she listen? Nah. Hates my skin colour too much. Racist bitch. I fucking tried to warn him though. I'm not sure if I released a video or anything before he did it, but I fucking told him. He was ticking off his bucket list. Everything he wanted to do before he died. Stupid bastards. Right, what's this one? And this is one of the newer ones I've made uh, on Sarah because, like, same old shit. Yeah. Get in the way. It has, hang on. Because I've been singing that song, I can't remember the fucking style. Bear with me. Get in the way, yeah, get in the way with having your sister raped. Groom my brother and my daughter, that's it, that's what I have. Get in the way with having your sister raped. Groom my daughter, uh, tongue tied. Get in the way with having your sister raped. Groom my brother and my daughter, for fuck's sakes, this bitch is a sick girl, my dick, you can't take. Mental abuse, until their minds break, focus on reputation, but can you read me? That's it, now I'm starting to remember the pattern. Get in away with having your sister raped. Grooming my brother and my daughter for fuck's sakes. This bitch is a sicko. My dick you can't take. Mental abuse until their minds break. Focus on reputation. But can you read, mate? And the excuse to find a way to escape. Scapegoat in my life. A rapist cries rape. Tells the police we was lovers. Get your bullshit off my plate. While you was fucking my brother. Groom my daughter to a lover. Uh, what's next? <coughs> Sorry, I lost my breath there. I want to do that verse again. That's literally what's been going on. She's been trying to encourage my daughter to fall in love with my brother, who is most likely her uncle. Could be a dad, but most likely her uncle. Either way is bad. And she's like, uh, six. Right, start again. I want to do it all from the beginning, actually, because that getting away part on it too. Get the end, the entrance to it better. Get in the way with, yeah, no, not like that. Get in the way with having your sister raped. Grooming my brother and my daughter for fuck's sakes. This bitch is a sicko. My dick you can't take. Mental abuse until their minds break. Focus on reputation, but can you read, mate? Any excuse to find a way to escape. Scapegoat in my life. A rapist cries rapes. Tell the police we was lovers. Get your bullshit off my plate. While well, you was fucking my brother, grooming our daughter to a lover. Tells her one you should marry, but keep it undercover. He could be your daddy, most likely. Oh, nah, man, I haven't done this one for a while because I was doing the other fucking tune. Bear with me, I've just got to fucking remember the flow. Don't worry, I'll timestamp when I get them more like accurate and right on the video. Get in the way with having your sister raped. Grooming my brother and my daughter for fuck's sakes. This bitch is a sicko. My dick you can't take. Mental abuse until their minds break. Focus on reputation. But can you read, mate? Any excuse to find a way to escape. Escape, go to my life. A rapist cries rape. Tells the police we was lovers. Get your bullshit off my plate. While you was fucking my brother. Grooming our daughter to a lover. Tells her... Tells her one you should marry, but keep it undercover. He could be your daddy, most likely your uncle, what a mother. This dirty bitch wants your life to be a butter. 
And then it's the same chorus, so I'm going to skip that. Hang on, I want to do the last verse of that other one again. Because I didn't quite hit the pitch that I wanted to. Though I need a mic and some earphones so I can actually get the snare and hear the pitch in time properly, but it is what it is. That's it. He could be your daddy, most likely your uncle, what a mother. This dirty bitch wants your life to be her butter. Right, we're going to skip that bit. Cord camera and a liar, get... Uh, no, wait. How's it going? Cord camera and a liar, bitch, get out of my face. He won't know that's his daughter, but he's got a smart case. Witch hunter... No, no, it's not that. Slander and witch hunt on their bikes, they will chase. Mentally broken, only in death can you escape. Pin it on your brother, even his mind will break. But your biggest mistake is you forgot about Jace. The already broken is one you can't break. But yeah, you can get an idea of how it goes. When it plays in my head too much, I end up coming up with different styles. And there is a few of us. Let me see if I can remember them. That one was the soda's. What else is there? Is this Nasty Neighbours one? No. What's this one again? That's when Sarah kept staring at my balcony and then pulled her phone out when she got to her flat. So I recorded me. There's the bitch that raped me, staring at my balcony. Let me show the history. Rep reveal what you did to me. Maybe then the world will see. Pedos running packs are free. Maybe I should let it be. But I hear Alicia asking me. Why cameras one shall never meet? Did you feel good when you did that? Acting like a silly twat. It's okay, it's just a rap. Maybe your past is coming back. I actually did that one better on um, Facebook. As a little Facebook exclusive. At the moment I'm a little bit tired, but I just want to go through these. Outside my door, what was that one again? I can't remember the start of that, but once I do, I'll do that one. So is this street? That one I've already done, I know. yeah. Oh, I remember this one. It's a little cover for Cameron. I think it's a cover anyways. Could we stop pining fingers after the fact and rewind it back to what put him on the past? She played it fast. Thinking that that's that's the cheer I need to do. Can we stop pining fingers after the fact and rewind it back to what put him on the past? She played it fast. Thinking that she's class, not a pity in her eyes, gotta get off the grass. Till she put him in the ground, now he's going back home, the long way around. That's the star for that one. I will do that one properly at some point. But I've got a bit of an headache. Smoking way too much. I have to deal with those dickheads. What's that one? Version 2. It's the old rain. I remember that. It's a little pain thing from it anyway. Right, now I'm going to have a look at... Obviously she reported 
That is, isn't what possible at all, sir. So, I'll show you what happens. <sighs> when you click on it, you can only see one post because she reported the other one. And um, actually, I can show you which one. <coughs> which actually, I would say, the one she reported is isn't as bad as the one she didn't report. But the one she reported is the one that tells Alicia that I do care about her. And that's why she reported it, because she don't want Alicia knowing that. Because she lets her, well, has been raising Alicia, believing that I haven't been in her life because I couldn't be buffered. An actual fact, I haven't been in her life because I found out um, her mommy's biological dad was fucking her half-sister, who's also her half-sister's biological dad. So then Sarah decided to rape me in my flat and then slander me, amongst other things. I've actually got all the details on my videos and that, so, uh, well, on my um, Google Drive. Check it out. It's on, um, you might, you should be able to find the link, unless they've uh, had it taken down. So you need to be quick in case they do try to get taken down. The file for it, uh, the link to the file, which has a, um, uh, has a document in it, which has the links to everything, to access everything. There's a few more stuff that's going on soon. And, um, yeah, that's available on Kick Messenger. My username, I'm not sure if I said it in the beginning of this video, but the username is <coughs> jacehall2002, no space. And I'm pretty sure there's no capital letters, but if there is, it'll be the capital letter at the J, but I think there's no capital letters. But you'll know it's me anyways, because, um, well, it's got a picture of me, and uh, it's me in a mirror when I used to work out. Right, what's next? Dun dun dun. I'm pretty sure I've got the same picture on my YouTube. Right, where was I? That was right. Oh yeah, I was going to show you, um... Dun dun dun, where is it? It'd be in there, wouldn't it? I've got so much stuff, evidence I've collected over the years. Plus stuff that's been going on recently. It's unreal. And yet, if I was allowed to put in even just what I had back in 2012, and if I was allowed to pass that to the police without the police saying, whatever evidence you got, why not up in court? I mean, if you don't record what's going on, then it's uh, not enough evidence. If you do record what's going on, as the event's about to unfold, you're lucky to get them to watch 10 seconds of the video before they say, no, nah, there's nothing there. Like, what the fuck? You haven't even watched it? And then obviously, if you record it while it's going on, then it's like, well, yeah, it's your fault. That's like for the harassment stuff. Like, yeah, it's your fault, because you're recording it. Like, but I weren't recording it when they came over and started doing that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's every excuse since 2012 to prevent my legal right to report a serious crime about Joanne Massey's family. It's not allowed, but it's like, literally, it's like she's really good friends with a police officer. Which doesn't surprise me, she is a drug dealer. So, probably one of her customers. So, if anybody can, like, look into this, that would be really helpful. Anyways, where was I? It is on this, isn't it? Right, this one. Now, this was on, as you can see, my profile, where I posted it, not on somebody else's profile. If I post it on somebody else's profile, then different story. But there is nothing here that states who I'm actually talking about. You know what I mean? Other than you evil bitch at the end, which doesn't direct it to anyone. Oh, and says, um, what's it called? There. Here we, what's happened again? Um, this is me um, replying to uh, what I've done when she accused me of harassment. Back on the 7th of May this year. To, no. Yeah this, yeah, this year, 2021. And he goes, um... And what have I done since? Showed my location for the day in question. Yeah, I was down West Brom for like most of the day. I didn't get back to like fucking 10 o'clock. I can't remember what I was doing down there. I was thinking of picking up something from... Oh, that was it. I had to go down to the town centre and pick some stuff up. I was down there most of the day and they, um... I had to go over to, um... That part just before where you'd go to um, Hilltop to do one of the smoke shops and get a new bong. So I was using that quite a lot back then. 
Right, so what have I done? Show my location. That reminds me, I might have only uploaded the location on Facebook, but it's on my Google timeline, so I will go on my Google timeline and upload that and add that to this category as well, so you'll see what I mean by show my location. It has the time and dates and where I travelled and everything like that. Right. The day yeah, yeah, that yeah, the day this it was the day this was took. That's sort of about the video. And oh yeah, that's right. Release proof. This is something she's been denying for years that she accused me of rape. No, she did accuse me of rape. And uh, it says here. And oh yeah, that's right. Release proof that you did indeed accuse me of rape. I've released several different proofs, verifying it from multiple different people. So um, yeah, take a look. As well as somebody else verifying that um, Sarah was uh, going around witch hunting me. Try lying your way out of that. Now tell Alicia I couldn't be bothered, you evil bitch. Yeah. Now that definitely sounds like it's mentioning on that post alone, right, that um, this post that is really bad that she had to get rid of. The only post. There are other posts since before that date. Here, I'll show you. That one. Let's see. See, the last one was March, and she even had the uh, police one removed, which is the one where it's got the file for the um, for the uh, for the police. Even though the police won't even take a look at it. September two thousand eleven. Last one was March, and then it goes March, September two thousand twenty. Not two thousand eleven. I mean two thousand twenty one. Eleventh September two thousand twenty one. That's this one, the latest one. Which is yesterday. Like, for real, dude? For real? <laughs> Anyways. They have um, said that, yes, that is, um, uh, what's it called? It doesn't follow the community guidelines. So, no problem. If I'm not allowed to say something like that, I've released everything. Go fuck yourself. Don't like it. You have to go to the police and then uh, say I've committed the crime of... Uh, Recording, what was it, the crime that uh, you'd want to charge me with? Recording the harassment from kids that have been harassing me outside my balcony. After their mother sent them down to my balcony to harass me. Honestly, I should start heading up the road and record where you live and send your address, shouldn't I? After all, you sent them down to my fucking balcony. But, um, yeah, makes me feel like that. So I've had to release everything due to their deliberate attempts to try to... Put my life in danger whilst trying to do a DNA test to stop some fucked up shit that's going on that Sarah's been doing and putting my daughter through. Such as encouraging her into bed with adults and stuff like that. Stuff that indicates the same fucking shit that the neighbour who is friends with me cousin and her family has been accusing me of. Stuff I've never done. You know what I mean? Where like you're putting them in bed with different adults, but then you're also Encouraging them to fall in love with my brother? Nah, fuck off. You can't do that. Especially when Sarah's trying to demand her to jump in bed with me whilst she was saying to me, and, the, and this, this ain't a total baby that's like fucking two, three years old. She was like five turning six, possibly six turning seven, because Sarah may have lied about the year of birth. She's like that to try to be deceptive in regards to who, well, when she was conceived and all that. But, yeah, she was trying to force me into bed with her. Literally, I said no. After Alicia had already said to me that I'm one of her three boyfriends. Does that sound like a good idea? Out of curiosity, does that sound like a good idea? She doesn't even know that I'm most likely her dad. I think she has the right to know. Oh, another thing she does is um, she encourages the kids to uh, kiss. But not just kiss kids' kids, but kids to adults as well. It's demanded. Not even asked, just demanded. It's like, somebody's about to leave, well, give them some love then. That's fucking grooming? What the fuck? You oh, and uh, the other thing that she liked to do was um, bounce the flight of ball off her head and then she cried. And then um, Sarah went, don't cry. Didn't know, did he? And then she looked at me, Alicia did, and um, Sarah said to her, don't look at him. He can't help you. You want a fucking bet? I'll get this in the court. You are so fucked. I've only got to get the DNA test done. I just have to survive long enough to do that while those bastards are trying to have me killed. Literally. 
And the reason for that is because they're the bastards that terrorise me since around 2012, 2013. Just before Cameron's death it all started. With a whole witch hunt against me. And uh, they're afraid now because it turns out that uh, I was telling the truth after all. Go check the fucking lie detector. Two of them come back in conclusive, so I need to get them redone. But I also need to get questions done in regards to um, what Cameron told me and that because, well, they're using Cameron's death as a, a way for sympathy. Well, um, well, Cameron's mum is. It ain't going to really work out when she keeps saying that, um, oh, me and Cameron were close, we, uh, he, he, loved, he loved his mother and all that shit, yeah. How's it gonna not know when I do the fucking lie detector test and it comes back saying, Yeah, you know I mean, did Cameron ever come down here effing and blinding about his mum? Yeah, that fucking fat bitch! She's fucking slut she is! Like, but Cam, that's your mum. I had to calm him down when he was doing that. And he used to say the same sort of things about um, his sister. So I've got to do them on a lie detector test as well. But, um, yeah. Obviously, the middle question on the uh, last, on the the only lie detector test that I've done at the moment states that um, I am telling the truth when Debbie told me back in the 25th of December 2009, Christmas Day, um, that she had been having sex with her dad. That's what all this witch hunting was over. Paul then obviously convinced Joanne or Sarah and that, that I had been fucking her, apparently. Now, I've spoke to Debbie about this. I can't get a fucking answer from her. Like, she's just like... She won't answer it. I mean, the only answer I've had from it and about when I first messaged her about that was like in 2014, I think. I think I've put that post up. It should be on my drive. Where she's like, no, I never said that. Sarah said that. But then when I speak to Sarah about it, she's like, Debbie said that. But I can't believe Debbie, um, not Debbie, Sarah, because Sarah's gone around saying so many fucking lies that I know about. So, yeah, obviously I know what's going on. Paul's found out, probably Debbie's told him. and Because I was telling Debbie to um, go to the police. And, um, yeah, I think she told Paul that um, I've been telling her to go to the police because she has been, well, he has been grooming her and then fucking her. And it's wrong, that's your dad, and she was like 12. So, yeah, and then basically they went around and slandered me and fucking witch hunted me for years. So, um, yeah, that's their whole motive towards trying to ruin me because once I get custody of Alicia, she'll be able to confirm what's been going on in regards to the five years that I weren't there. And um, I've had somebody who who apparently was in bed with her who did some stuff that he uh, shouldn't have done. Illegal stuff. And then her mummy had to stay quiet about it. But I said, get mummy in trouble. And you don't want mummy to be mad at you. Yeah, man, I swear to God. Anyways, we're getting a little slightly off topic here. I'm going to have to time um, stamp the um, wraps, but before we go through all this stuff, actually, I don't need this, do I? I need here. It's going to be the easiest place to actually find some of the newer wraps because keep left in memory. Not that many wraps I've made. I'm very fast. That's the bitch that raped me. Yeah, that one's the one I actually uploaded on my Facebook. You know what? I'll let you start. Start again. I might actually get taken down. I'm not doing a full edit on that. This is just a little Facebook example. Well. Exclusive, my bad. There's the yeah, there's the bitch that raped me, staring at my balcony. Let me show the history, reveal what you did to me. Maybe then the world will see. Peter's running packs of free. Maybe I should let it be, but I hear Alicia asking me. Why well, Cameron's one she'll never meet. Did you feel good when you did that? Acting like a silly twat? It's okay, it's just a rap. Maybe your past is coming back. And you know what? The funny thing as well, why she tried to use that as uh, uh, to accuse me of harassment, is what did she say in the phone calls? Go and check it out. What in the phone calls? She's telling me instead of putting it up all over Facebook and that, uh, come over and talk to us. Yeah, I already knew she was trying to set me up. That was before she did that um, harassment one. 
But of course, I can't say to Alicia, um, the race, I haven't been a part of your life or your fucking life, except for the two months that your mum did let me into your life uh, when she wanted to uh, uh, throw away my family photos under the pretense of decorating my living room. She would have, not my living room, my bedroom. Um, she would have done the living room, but uh, she didn't see a stain underneath the carpet when she checked underneath the carpet where she raped me. But um, yeah, Alicia would actually be able to identify where um, Sarah checked the carpet. That's the spot where she raped me. That was after Paul let her into my property, using my spare key. So yeah, and I recently remembered, so I might as well say it on this recording, that um, I found out obviously on the 25th of December, 2009, what had been going on between Paul and Debbie, didn't know if it was true or not. Um, a few months before that, I've got the uh, picture on my Facebook, but it's also in my drive. I've uploaded it to there just in case um, they try to get my Facebook taken down. Um, I've put in there, um, so if I'm rambling a bit, I haven't slept that well. So I lack of sleep. But um, yeah, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, there's a picture on there from that I took where around March, April time, um, I mentioned that um, he'd... Um, they pulled and spiked my drink, and I'd ended up in hospital, Russell Hall Hospital it was. And uh, they confirmed that there was something in my blood that shouldn't be there. Found out from my mum when he came clean to my mum that um, he spiked me with a legal eye acid tab, well, ecstasy tablet that you can get from the legal eye shops. Well, back then, I think they've been closed down now because people have actually died from um, the ecstasy one. And I nearly died. So, yeah, it was, it was bad. Obviously, after that affair, there would have been going on, according to Debbie, between Paul and Debbie. True or not, I don't know, but then after everything that happened, we can probably safely say that, yeah, there was some truth to that. Um, that, was two, that was the end of 2009. And then July 2010 is when I moved into this property. And I didn't just move into this property. There were three properties I could choose from. And there was another one that I preferred that I wanted to move into. But Sarah and Kieran were adamant that I moved into this property. So I've got to do that on a lie detector to out that one. That shows deliberate attempt to try to force me into an area where they have a load of family members and could terrorise me. It was like they had been planning it that far back. So as soon as Paul got suspicious that I knew what was going on, he arranged the fucking witch hunting, witch hunting on me. So, yeah. And all of this is going to come out, Sarah, if you uh, see this video. It's all going to come out. Because I stay quiet anymore. And you won't let me see my daughter. Fuck you. Wait, where was I? Oh, that's right. Just a little. I'm actually going to put, upload this to do a couple of different places. My YouTube and a few other places because obviously there's new stuff that I put on here that um, I want to keep as evidence and a record for Alicia. You can pause the video at any point to um, read it all. This is yesterday, is it? If it is raw yesterday, is it? That's the day where. Um, the day in question, where I made that particular rap, I'm back and I'm staring at my balcony, recording, going straight to neighbourhood council. I went out today and uh, I was I stepped on the balcony. They're up the road, still shaking the word, and that's why I've sent everything out. The neighbours don't like it. Well, I don't know what you've been doing to me over the last uh, twelve. Well, it's actually nearly ten years, ain't it? It's just my family was setting it up a couple of years beforehand to stop me from outing poor. So apparently you're not allowed to speak out about paedophiles. But you are allowed to be slandered, witch hunted and raped and called a paedophile. And 
you are allowed to have the police refuse to help you and refuse to let you pass evidence over to them. That's allowed, apparently. Facebook exclusive. And to the parents uh, of the kids that are <laughs> me, yes, I know, I am fully aware that sharing all this will endanger their life. What do you think it did to me when you lot decided to witch hunt me? Do you think they came and baked me cupcakes? No! It put my life in danger. I had to give up my career. So fuck you. Of course, for obvious reasons... Oh, I'm on the wrong fucking finger. Of course, for obvious reasons, I can't release their identity. And it's not over social media and all that stuff. But... What I have released to particular people and that should hopefully allow it to reach somebody who might actually be able to get him investigated. I've been begging the police for fucking years and they refused. So what else can I do? Because I'm out of ideas. Okay, well, there is one I want to, um, uh, I'm not sure if I've already done this rap on this video. Probably won't be able to do it now because I'm half asleep. Ugh. How's it called? I think I've already done it. Sarah's history, I hit this one. That was it. It goes like this, if I remember correctly, the flow. Because I was singing some higher pitch ones earlier, I forgot the flow. And I'm half asleep, so my mind's a bit slow. Getting away with having your sister raped. Grooming my brother and my daughter for fuck's sakes. This bitch is a sicko. My dick you can't take. Mental abuse until their minds break. Focus on reputation. But can you read, mate? Any excuse to find a way to escape. Scapegoat in my life. A rapist cries rape. Tell the police we were tell the police we was lovers. Get your bullshit off my plate. While you was fucking my brother, turning her grooming her daughter to a lover. Tells her one you should marry, but keep it undercover. He could be your daddy, most likely your uncle, what a mother. This dirty bitch wants your life to be her butter. Man, I'm gonna have to actually do all this properly and edit it and that so I can actually Get the full flow without pausing in between. Maybe when I'm more half awake, I can do it properly. Anyway, it's just some little samples of some tunes. Oh, there's another one. Uh, where is it? Um, is it under L? Hmm. This was somebody who don't like me speaking out about what Sarah did to Cam and thinks she knows it all, but actually knows fuck all. She only knows what people have been saying. And uh, the end part where uh, she went to uh, be nosy to dead child. She didn't know anything that went on prior to that. I did, because I was there. You weren't. I didn't see you. Were you there when Sarah was raping me? No. Were you there when Cameron was trying to edit? No! You definitely weren't there when I was kicked out of the fucking family because of it. I tried to warn his mother, but she wouldn't listen. And then you lot think, oh, the guilt and the grief has eaten away at her because her youngest son died. No, that's not what's eaten away at her. It's the fact that she found out in the end that I could have saved him. And she denied that. She should have fucking listened. And she told me to cross the road from him, don't torture him, treat him like a ghost, like he don't exist. Congratulations. Congratulations, Michelle. You turned your son into a ghost. And look what it's done to the other one, your last remaining son. You should be ashamed of yourself. I used to climb the green spike gates when I was skipping school Showing off to my mates thinking I was cool On the community centre roof while it was getting dark 
Out all night staring at the stars. But a balcony I have never climbed. There's a gap in the way, man. Are you blind? Your legs slip forward. You're tumbling back. Your legs slip back. Your body's following that. Jump and climb like a silly fool. Now what the fuck you gonna do? My feet don't reach the floor. If he's banging on your door, tell him to kick rocks. They know him that he climbs, hoping his body drops. Thank God he heard my pleas. Thank God he heard my pleas the first time that he tried. Climbing up my balcony is not where he died. So before you try, so before you kill me off and try to edit the facts. Who was it that broke your rules and... Yeah, what was it? Uh, Tongue tied. Should really be doing this while I'm off asleep. Who was it that broke your rules and tried to grass? Oh, that was it. You told her I killed her cousin. What you meaning by that? Don't put your regrets on her. I, sw I swear you need a slap. You evil racist bitch. Try playing your memories back before trying before trying to make a kid hate. To make yourself feel better after you ordered that. I can do that a lot better, flow and quick, and I'm just way too off asleep. But I wanted to give you an idea of how it, how the rap goes, you know what I mean? And then obviously, if I'm killed off before I get to actually do these properly and perfect them and put them out, well, um, then somebody else might hopefully be able to perfect them. Because, like, I'm about to make all this shit go viral. Didn't really want to have to, but I will. I've already released what I need to anyways. Let's try this again. I used to climb the green spike gates when I was slipping... Blech, not slipping. See what I mean? I'm that tongue-tied. I can't even pronounce the words. Well, tongue-tied and sleepy. I used to climb the green spike gates when I was skipping school, showing off to my mates thinking I was cool on the community centre roof while it was getting dark. Out all night staring at the stars, but a, but a balcony I have never climbed. There's a gap in the way, man. Are you blind? Your legs slip forward, you're tumbling back. Your legs slip back, your body's following that. Jump and climb like a silly fool. Now what the fuck you gonna do? My feet don't reach the floor. If he's, if he's banging on your door, tell him to kick rocks. They know him that he climbs up in his body drops. Thank God he heard my pleas the first time that he tried. Climbing up my balcony is not where he died. So before you kill me off and try to edit the facts. Who was it that broke your rules and tried to grass? You told her I killed, your, you told her I killed a cousin? What you meaning by that? Michelle told my daughter that I killed her cousin. You fucking lying bitch. If anybody did, you did, Michelle. You ordered his uh, ostracization and isolation while he was forced to fight the bullies on his fucking own after Sarah sent them after him, terrorised him, doing the same shit that they've been doing to me. And I said that would happen before I started speaking out. Listen to the videos. And those family didn't get involved until after the 28th of May. They were involved before then until Joe Massey told them to leave me alone. That was around the time of my nan's funeral. That's obviously when they must have found out that uh, I was telling the truth. Could have told you that. Where was we? Yeah. You told her I killed her cousin. What you meaning by that? Don't put your regret on her. I swear you need a slap. You evil racist bitch, try playing your memories back before you, before trying to make a kid hate to make yourself feel better after you ordered that. I need to reword that last line. You know what I mean? So it fits more to the flow. But yeah, anyways, that'll do for now. I'm going to put this on my drive and I'll probably post it on YouTube as well. Sorry, it's not the best. It's I, I didn't sleep last night and it's, it's been fucking stressful. But there you go.